Okay, so I made this as a coil. Um, for one, because I had a low budget, I don't have really much money, 17 age and everything. Um, I also made this kind of like a, almost like a tutorial type thing. Uh, for, people, for people who uh, don't understand so much of how the coil works and are kind of frustrated with building it and everything. Um, this is an extremely low budget Tesla coil. Um, can't kind of think here. I don't really think I spent any money on any of this stuff. Um, except for, oh, except for these fans over here. But, um, anyways, I will explain to you guys just what exactly, um, I made this stuff out of. I'll start over here with the, uh, fasteners. Um, alright. Here are some capacitors that I have. They're salt water capacitors. Um, and one thing I found in designing them is that especially with glass ones such as these three right here and this one, uh, they have very high losses at radio frequency. Uh, meaning like um, the foil right there is about, I put electrical tape on it right there, I don't know if you can see that. I put electrical tape and hot glue. It's kind of shiny right there, you can see the little light. Uh, that's reflection off the hot glue I put. Um, I found out that when you have the coil on everything, the foil there, the sharp edges, has huge purple little streamers that try to arc into, onto the, uh, the metal cap here, and that's really high losses um, from it. And so I put electrical tape over the first part of it, and then I put hot glue as a small little sealant in between the cap and the glass over here. And that worked really, really well to um, like minimize those losses, so I did that on all of these capacitors. Except for that one, because that one's plastic. And plastic doesn't really have any losses. Not, not as bad as these glass ones, but it's still some, but not that bad. Um, so no hot glue there, just electrical tape. And uh, all of these capacitors have uh, are filled almost to the brim with salt water. And then I put a layer of oil on it to keep from... Uh, that's why some of my other capacitors failed. It's because, I don't know, some I don't know why, but the oil makes it work better. Just fill it up the top, and you don't have to use much oil at all. Just put enough to cover thing and stop the air from staying in there. And then I'll move over here now. I have a neon sign transformer. Now generally you'd have to pay to get these or go to a neon sign shop, but I found these at, uh, these were actually junked neon sign transformers. I have another one over here that I got from a old neon sign repair shop. Um, and really they just give them to you for free. And I also got some high voltage cabling to go along with it um, for free. So. That's nice, and then I got, um, from the, on the main side of the transformer, I got a line to frequency filter, and uh, it really, I don't even know why I have it on there, because it just sucks. Hey, even with nothing grounded to mains ground, my speakers in the house still make a little buzzing sound when I turn it on. So, yeah, that sucks. Oh, that's the little uh, resettable fuse. I wish there really isn't any need to have that, since when the on-sign transformer is uh, shunted, so magnetic ballast. Alright, now, I'll move here. Here we have the spark gap, and what it is, I have two fans on it, uh, both going the same direction, so then one pulls in air, the other one pushes air out. Um, and then I have the little electrodes. This one is just kind of like a slider rod, and then I have a fixed screw right there that goes to the capacitors. Um, and Let's see here, this one goes into the primary, base primary, and I have it tapped here at about six turns, a uh, little, like six and a half turns. Um, and the primary, I have found, works very, very well if you use solid, wi uh, solid wire for the primary, um, if you do it in this, like, pancake type formation. Mine's a little bit conical, but that's about it. Um, don't use strand of wire for this type of primary. If you're going to use strand of wire, uh, get a piece of PVC or some type of insulation to uh, put it along here and wrap it around the coil uh, if you use strand of wire. Otherwise, you probably won't get it to work with this type of primary. Um, and let's see here. Oh, my secondary. Um, that is only actually uh, 450 turns of wire that I got from a motor. Like one of these... Um, I'll show you exactly 
it's a motor. Oh, it's not in here. Dang it, my brother took it out. Um, but it's a little uh, fan that we got at Walmart that just broke, so I took the uh, little bob and a wire. This is what the bob looks like. This little thing. I took a, the marble. The thing that's sitting in between is just two trophy parts. So I took a part. So yes, this is a very low budget project. Anyways, and the, oh, and the wire here I also got from a motor. Um, motors are a great source of wire, by the way, people. And uh, I have some electrical tape insulation down here at the bottom because the primary is arcing to the secondary. And oh, the form it's wound on is a like one of those little ribbon things you see for Christmas time. It's one of those little cardboard tubes and everything. So it was uh, not very. I, I don't think I spent any money on this except for the fans. So that's how I'm. All the little specs and everything. So now I'll show you how to hopefully my camera here will uh, actually show some stuff. Uh oh. Grounding wire. Yeah, forgot to show you this. My little radio frequency ground is going out from the garage into the ground outside. But, okay. I'll try to show you some of the arts. And that is with no top load, by the way. Um, that's what it's like with no top load. Um, and really, that's about it. I mean, I could try doing a uh, another like type of top load, but I have to retune it and everything. I don't really feel like doing that on camera. Um, so, yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions on uh, different things on how you build it and everything I would love to answer you message me or comment on the video and I'd be very happy to help you because I know how frustrating it can be when uh, it doesn't work right um, so uh, thanks for watching and rate and comment